pretty sure this is one of the trees that had the mildew on it. I'm gonna have to double check, but it's weird because the needle's not affected by the mildew are yellowing and the stuff affected by the mildew is not yellowing. Unless the tree is dying from the inside out, which appears to be because all the needles on the inside of the branches are already fallen. That one's bow is actually down. And this tree is rotted. Got more of those speckled leaves. Fucking chemtrails. Now in theory, today when I approach the pond, the animals won't be as quick to move. I've got a theory that the the trails cause a sort of a nervous system depression. Yeah, this tree's got the same. The needles that were green still have fallen off, and the needles that are whitened are staying staying put. Doesn't really look like there's any animals even in the pond. Hey ducks! Terrible at making not nature documentaries. I suddenly wonder if my repeated entrance to this side of the pond in the last few days has disrupted the animals. What the fuck seriously separated man from the rest of nature? I bet the answer will come back down to flyers, archons, the demiurge, and a hive mind collective. Mm, they're all in hiding. Coming out though. What was the political force, though? What caused humans to stop speaking with their senses like the rest of the animals because a blue jay can speak to a cat can speak to a dog
The hive mind would start talking loud as fuck as soon as I started the record button. Sometimes I agree with that whole Mormon concept of no obnoxious loud things. Namely people acting loud and obnoxious. I don't know what the fuck Mitt Romney's excuse is then, but maybe it's just loud laughter specifically for them. They don't include being a rich shithead. Oh, maybe I'm just bitter from the coffee. Yeah, I stopped recording and the loud guy stopped talking. It's amazing. Still don't know if he was getting picked up on the microphone or not, but... God damn it, how loud do people have to talk to people across the table from them? Apparently loud enough that you can hear it on the other side of a fucking lake. Something big just broke the water. Maybe we'll get this nature film started soon. Let's investigate. Might have been just a fish. Critter's got holes around here too. That's crazy, I'm like... Right there. The entrance to the underground hole. What the fuck is that? Like a little burnt pile of sticks. Somebody had themselves a little fire. What the fuck is this? Made it a string or something. Who would come all the way up to this great spot just to have a fire to burn some plastic shit? This town is full of weirdos. Even by my standards.
Ugh. It was wet and strange to the touch. It looked like a piece of foam or something. Sure as hell wasn't their dinner. A small fire to have. Not even in a fire pit either. This is weird. Who does that? I guess that's how fucking forest fires start. Not because campers set fires, but because whoever's don't have to build a fire without a wall of rocks around it, or even a fire pit. Has their little plastic cookout. place has made me hateful of humans. A whole new level. I have a series of gates installed now. Very interesting. Well, today we found pretty much no nature. We found all this nature, obviously. But, still no other nature. It's like animals know when the camera's coming out. It's weird. Because I don't speak their language, they can tell each other about it all through the forest. And then that's pretty much that. Oh, here's some fine examples of the strange white bullshit some more. This tree's still pretty healthy looking. Although, when you look into the inside, from the inside core of the tree, trunk to the outside branches, it's, the needles are dying. That's fucked up. Same over here. Now, what the fuck would cause it to die like that? I mean, besides cloud seeding, people putting fucking aluminum bromide and silver or iodide or whatever into the fucking everything. I wanna know how the fuck they tricked us away from living inside of nature to start with. We can still have chairs outside of this high tech bullshit.
Okay, I heard some nature. We're gonna see if we can find it. It's over that away. Okay. I heard nature. It's so quiet. Where's nature? That was my attempt to rouse nature. Oh goodness. There's running patterns all through this grass. Either there was critters here, or those dudes that I always see with a soccer ball. They were here. Oh my. A little trail right down to this brook. Now the other day, it looked like an oil slick was coming out up there, which goes through to that pond. E. And that's the pond that the town of Wolfville is apparently having some kind of stink over regarding what the fuck is coming into the pond from the town's sewage system. And we just follow this path that's already worn into the grass. I can say that isn't much of a drainage stream, so maybe it's just not even oil, probably just natural built up guck, as they call it around these parts. Or in a scientific manner, probably pesticide build up or some shit, who knows. Katie is probably dumping it uh, with the vet and the doctor and the mayor in on it. Jeez, that almost looks like a little bushy weed plant. Ha <laughs> I remember where you're growing. Somewhere in this giant field. This grass is way thicker trying to get back out of than it was coming. Oh, I'm going a different way. That's probably got something to do with it. Never mind, discard this note. Damn it. I heard nature again, it's back over where we were just a minute ago. But I have to go take a shit and I can't stay out here running around. I know normally you can shit in the woods, but it's it's one of those shits, you know? You just need the sanctity of a bathroom for it. What is normal anyway? I just heard some nature in there. I heard some nature there too. It's fucking all around me, but I can't see it. Oh, I hope it doesn't eat me. I've learned about this nature thing on television. It's all predators and teeth and claws. Wild things with bloodlust, craze that'll rape you repeatedly after you're dead even. That's what nature is, apparently, from what I've seen on television. That's why humans are so fucked up. Or maybe it's not that way at all. Now that I think of it, I've never been attacked by animals and raped in the forest repeatedly after I was killed. Unlike how television portrays it. And if it does happen to me, Five bucks says it was people. I almost got a love bird on film, but then it flew away. So instead, let's let's look at the moon. There it is, the moon, part of nature. Can you believe that bullshit about a Mars-sized object smashing into our planet to make the moon? A load of crap. Is there anything left after a Mars sized object hit our fucking planet? I think the moon was just there. It's part of the balancing act.
hear that? Or it's an alien mothership. But that's preposterous. Found some nature.